with me to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. I just want to kind of pull the house together and then we can focus. Amen? Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. I want to say this before I get into the word that uh, y'all can be seated. Y'all are such a great honor there. Um, this is one beautiful church. This is one beautiful church. The 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Beautiful. Amen. <laughs> That's all right, too. At least we know we got somebody paying attention. Amen. 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 Pastor, yes, Pastor Bess, we want you to read for us. And we thank you. Thank you for this beautiful edifice. First Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Let's start at verse 1. We're going to do it expository, meaning we're going to talk through this chapter. Somebody say amen. amen. We're going to talk through this chapter. This is it's all about love. Touch your neighbor and say, it's all about love. Look at somebody say, it's all about love. I'm not talking about pulley love. I'm talking about real love. Right. Amen. I'm not talking about sensuous love. I'm not talking about devilish love. Neither am I talking about wicked love. I'm talking about real love. Amen. It's love that may become these four hours this morning. Amen. It's love. It's love for this family. And that lady. Amen. It's love that made me come. Amen. <laughs> That's why yes, sir. Love is what it does. It's not what, right. amen, we shout in church, but love is what it does. Is that right? right? right. Amen. And so love brought me here. So let's talk about it. First for Corinthians, the 13th chapter, verse 1, Pastor Bess. Uh-huh. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a noisy gong or a sounding brass. Or a Somebody say amen. amen. We can do a whole lot of stuff. We can say a whole lot of things. But if it's not done in love, yeah. it's just a bunch of noise. Right. Yeah. Isn't that right? right? A lot of people are making noise yeah. because there's no love in it. Yeah. Amen. You can tell where you really love. Yeah. You can tell where love abides. Yeah. You can tell where love is. Am I right? Amen. And we as the body of Christ in a day like today, in a day that we're living in, we have to have love for one another. Yes. Now, I, I want to say this, and I want to say it very clearly. I'm not talking about loving the world. Because right. sometimes we get this confused with people when they talk about love. They talk about, well, you don't love me. No, I, I don't like everything. <laughs> but I love you. Yeah. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. I don't like everything, but I love you. Amen. And neither do I like everything that the world do, but I love the individual. Am I right? Amen. That's not a judgment call. I feel my help in here. That's not a judgment call. Amen. We're not trying to judge anybody. Not trying to, amen, pass sentence on anybody. But there are times that when you're operating in love that you have to make people to understand where you stand at. Yes. Isn't that right? right? Amen. Amen. You have to make people know where you stand. Isn't that right? right? Amen. Don't mean I don't love you. Right. Amen. I care a whole lot about you, but I don't like everything. Right. <laughs> Amen. Is that all right? Come on, right. tell your neighbors that that's the truth. That's Amen. True. So the Bible gives us the way of love. Somebody shout the way of love. The way of love. Amen. We ought to walk in love with our brothers and sisters. Yes. Amen. There's nothing no worse than being in a church where there's a whole lot of strife, right. a whole lot of bickering, a whole lot of backbiting. Yes. Amen. A whole lot of contention and confusion. Nothing no worse than being in a ministry. Amen. And in the ministry, you got a whole lot of stuff going on. Amen. Because somebody is not walking in love. Hallelujah. Somebody haven't forgiven some stuff. Amen. Somebody haven't let some stuff go. Amen. Sometimes people hover stuff and hold stuff for years. Amen. Keep it in the heart and keep it in the mind. Keep it in the spirit. Amen. And hold on to stuff. Amen. And you make them mad, they'll bring it up. Yes. I ain't getting no help in here. You make them mad, they'll bring it up. Amen. They'll regurgitate in a minute. They get to tell you, amen, this is what happened 20 years ago. This is what happened 40 years ago. This is what happened 20 minutes ago. Hallelujah. This is what happened 30 days ago. Amen. 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 Sometimes you got to let stuff go. Let it go. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Touch your neighbor beside you and let's walk in love. 
Amen. This is a love way. Amen. And the church has got to be full of love for its brothers and its sisters. Amen. I pastor a little church in Richmond, Virginia. God knows I've been there, amen, some 20 some years. Amen. In these last few years, I haven't seen so much strife in all my life. Had one of the most beautiful choirs you ever want to see. Oh, amen. Sometimes 30 and 40 voice strong. Amen. And because choirs are all the time driven by personalities. Certain people's in charge, they want to be on the choir. But certain people they ain't in charge, they don't want to be on the choir. Yes, they ain't no help in here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They don't love, they don't love the ministry past. Amen. An individual. Right. But they, they're, they're personality driven. Amen. And when that personality is ain't in the picture, they leave out. Amen. And so the choir, amen, went down from somewhere 30, 40 people, amen, to that six or seven. Wow. And so the lady was asking me, said, what should I do? I said, let it die, baby. Let it die. God will resurrect it. <laughs> oh, let it alone. Don't do a thing. Watch God stir up a nation. Watch God raise up a people. This time when God raises them up, they're going to be better than ever before. They're going to be ones that love God. They're going to be ones that love the church. They're going to be tithe payers. They're not going to bear from every time the offering come up. They're not going to skip serving up when you pass the offering pay and the choir pop. You come back with $8 and 30 people suffer wrong. No help in here. Somebody said something wrong. But the next generation going to be a generation that's going to walk in love. That's going to walk in harmony. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody said love. Uh huh. Verse 2, what it say? And though I have the gift of prophecy. Somebody said prophecy. prophecy. Amen. Uh huh. I can predict everything. Uh huh. And I can understand all mysteries. I'm deep as I can be. Amen. Uh -huh. And all knowledge. And I got all knowledge. And though I have all faith. Uh huh. So that I could remove mountains. Yes. And have not charity. I am nothing. Hallelujah. You can have all of these wonderful gifts. You can be operating in all of these wonderful gifts of knowledge and gifts of love and faith and, <coughs> and understand all mystery. You can be going on and doing all of that. It's wonderful. But if you don't have love, it don't amount to a thing. Right. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Text your neighbor beside you. Say, neighbor, neighbor. it's all about love. It's all about Come on, look up right in the face and tell them. Say, it's all about love, it's honey. All about Come on, it's all about genuine, real love. It's about the love of God that we want to constrain people. Go ahead, Pastor. And though I bestow so, all my goods to feed the poor. I do all kinds of charitable things. And though I give my body to be burned. Oh, yes. I make the biggest sacrifice of life. Uh huh. And I have not charity. And I have not charity. It don't profit you anything if you're not doing it in love. Right. Somebody says all about love. Oh, apostle, I'm here today because it's about love. Yes. I thought about it. I said to Pastor Bess, I said, how could I not be here for this great couple? How could I not be down here to celebrate them in this beautiful church? This beautiful ministry. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. How can I not be here when these people exemplify so much love? Oh, Apostle Peter will go beyond the call of duty to show love. Yes, he will. He'll go beyond the call of duty to express love. He'll sacrifice his last dime, spend his last penny, uh, you know, and um almost the mortgage and everything else uh, to show you L-O-V-E uh, yeah. and you have to reciprocate the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? You have to reciprocate the same thing. It can't be a one-sided thing that I show you all love and you don't show me none at all. That's a bad relationship. Yeah. I ain't getting no hip in here. It's not a good relationship and sometimes we don't share and share a lot. Amen. Every now and then you have to reciprocate and tell the person, I love you too. Come on, somebody. Send somebody in the face and say, I love you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Look them right in the eyeball and tell them, I love you. And there's nothing.
nothing you can do about it. There's an absolute, I feel God in here. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I love you unconditionally. I love you in spite of. I love you regardless of. I love you with nothing you can say about it. It's because of the love of God. Verse 4, somebody says, I'm all about love. I'm all about love. I saw love on the yard. Oh, shut up. I saw love out in the yard. When I drove up, I felt love coming down the dirt road. Yes. I felt the love of God. I felt the love of God when I walked around on the land. I felt the love of God when I came into the building. That's what you want to feel when you go to church. You don't want to feel cold, indifferent, hostile, resentment. When you go to church, you want to feel love and acceptance and human embracement. You want to feel that my pastor cares. Show kindness. 
I, you know, some of these circles I don't even like going into no more. Hallelujah. Especially some of these arenas where there's a bunch of preachers. Amen. And everybody looking at your shoes and your hair and your nose and snobby and turning up the nose and acting like they forgot who the Lord is and amen, belittling folks and judging you according to the size of your ship, whether your ship is small and mine is big, hallelujah, you know, I dare some circles, I don't even feel comfortable in going into her, because I feel like if we are trying to win souls, if your ship is big and mine is small, as long as we land, Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm talking good as long as we land. I think all of us are trying to get folks to heaven. Amen. Whether you come in on a rowboat or you come in on a yacht, as long as you make it on the other side. Oh, can I talk a little bit today? Amen. Whether you come in on a rowboat, amen. Or whether you come in on a yacht, I tell you one thing for sure. This is not the time. Sometimes our people walking in love by the way they think. Because they think so evil. 
Amen. They think so cruel. Go ahead. Rejoice not in iniquity. Yes. But rejoice in the truth. Uh huh. Verse 7. Bear it all. Here's where I want to get to. Charity does what? Bear, Bear it is what? All oh, sin. Yes. Underline that. Put a note in it. Bear is what thing? All. Somebody say all things. All things that you like, things that you don't like, things that are indifferent, things that you can't understand, things that you can't explain, things that you don't know what to say about. Charity, however, we are there as well. All things. I'm talking about real agape, a genuine, amen, love of God. It bears some kind of thing. All things. Hallelujah. You know, um, my, we have our niece that we're raising. Bless her heart. And um, Latavia, my daughter, my oldest daughter, when she first came to live with us, she, she just took on to her. And she began to call her mommy. Mommy, mommy. She just called her mommy. Well, Latavia don't have no children. <laughs> and so, down the road, Latavia's Bearing all things can't weaken. Weakens. Her tolerant level shortened very. And she said to me, to her mother, she said, Mom and Dad, how y'all put up with five children? I said, it came in the package. Right. Amen. <laughs> it came. There is a natural bearing all things. That come with having children. Right. right. <laughs> oh, that is a natural bearing all thing that comes with having children. Yes. Your children can do some of the craziest things. Yes, God. And your folks be wondering, how can you put up with it? Because it's mine. Right. I got something on the inside that helps me to deal with it. I have something on the inside. They are just as crazy as a bug and a rug, but I can bear it. Yeah, yeah. I can suffer it. Right. I can go through it. Yeah. I can deal with it. Yeah. I can handle it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I have one son, bless his heart. The song he said, take me to the king. He took me to the king and I have a whole lot to bring. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I believe he had the third world testament church come on in his brain. Smoke some weed and come out with a new revelation of God. Something he got under the trees and something he got from the stuff that he inhaled. And I said, God, you got to help me with this one. He moved to Georgia. And it was a blessing from the Lord. Yeah. Gave us a little break in heaven to grow. I said, Lord, just cover me in your blood. Yes. Keep him from hurt, harm, and danger. Yeah. Don't let no danger befall him. Yeah. But while he's out there, teach him some lessons. Yeah. Teach him some fire over there. Yeah. Break down that pride. Yeah. Come against that stony heart. Deal with that stubborn spirit. Break down that contrary wall. God, break it down. God, break it down. God, break it down. You talking good talk. He calls me, Dad, I miss you. I said, <laughs> Ooh, you don't know the prayers I pray. Because when I can't tell you nothing, life can. Right. <laughs> when I can't tell you nothing, there's something out there. I teach them like this, mother. There's a bear out there. And there's a lion out there. You ain't gonna miss both of them. You gonna run up against the bear and you gonna run up against the lion. And what I can't teach you, life will teach you. Life will humble you. Life will bring you down. Life will cause you to come subject. Life causes you to bear all things. Yes. Somebody said all things. Oh, Touch your neighbor said he's talking good today. Yes. Oh yes. I like this cathedral. I feel like I'm in a worldwide crusade. Oh, hallelujah. 